Welcome back to Andrea Jean Cleaning. Today we are trying yet another method to clean this grout. Look at how gross and dirty that is. Today we are in my kids bathroom here. I'm going to show you the supplies that we're going to be working with, but I also have two other videos about how to clean grout. One video, I used toilet bowl cleaner, hydrogen peroxide, OxyClean. I compared those, so I will have that link in the description box below. And then in another grout video, I used Lime Away. So I do have a favorite out of all of those, but we're going to try another method here with items that you probably already have in your house right now. I am very pregnant right now, so if I seem out of breath at any point in this video, <laughs> that is why I'm about 33 weeks. Okay, so this is what we're gonna be using to clean my kids' bathroom. I got uh, just a little kind of scrub pad here that I'm gonna be using, some gloves, and in here is the Miracle Shower Cleaner. I actually have a whole video dedicated to this as well that I will have linked in the description box, and I tried on three different uh, bathroom, bathtubs, and um, hardware. So, but for this video today, it's all about the grout. So in here is a combination of Dawn dish soap and cleaning vinegar. I've seen people do what I'm about to show you here a couple ways. So I have it all combined right here. And then we have some baking soda. Now, the first way that I've seen this done is they just went ahead and poured the vinegar right there on the grout line. And I think a spray bottle would be better, much easier. And then what they did is they combined just water, and not maybe just warm water, a little bit of baking soda, and then a little bit of Dawn and dish soap. But how I'm gonna do it here is I already have the spray bottle of vinegar and Dawn, so we're gonna spray this right on. And then I'm gonna put this on to create more of a grittiness. And I'm gonna be scrubbing just a little bit here. Now my goal with any sort of cleaning, this channel is all about cleaning and organizing for busy women, is to do it as quickly and easily as possible because who the heck wants to be on their hands and knees scrubbing grout on their floor? I do not. The video in the description box, I show you the easiest method where you just put the product on and you literally wipe it away with a mop. So that will be there as well. But let's give this shot, give this a shot here. And you can see here, very dirty. Mind the shadows. So let's do the spot, let's do like round in here. So again, we're just gonna spray this on. Right in there. No precise mount needed, at least from what I've seen here. We'll make a little T like that. Very good. Okay, let that be. And then I'm just gonna take some water. I'm gonna let this heat up here for a minute. Okay, I did get the water heated up here. Now, the previous video that I watched, I don't, honestly, I don't know if they heated the water or not. There was no mention of it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pour this baking soda in here, again, to create a little grit. And the video that I also watched as a comparison for this method, um, they did not really leave the vinegar sit on the grout. So from all I'm, for all I care about is it could have been all mixed together. And again, if you're gonna be doing your whole floor, what I'm about to show you is not the easiest method, but I wanna actually see if this works. Because here's the problem with a lot of cleaning videos that I watch. Since I am a cleaning channel, I like to know what other people are doing. Um, they show it that it works so amazing, but then when I follow their exact steps, it doesn't work. So let me know in the comments if that's ever happened to you. Like that is a mess. Could you imagine? I'm gonna show you my kitchen here in a second. Okay, and so now I'm just gonna grab this little brush because this is how I watched it done um, and made it look so easy. Let's see, it is really running right there. Okay. It's coming up, okay. You guys see that? The lighting in here is pretty bad. I'll just scrub this a bit. On my grout video, it has over 200,000 views. You uh, you should check out the comments section in there. Some of the comments I get, because um, you know, it's I like to make things quick and easy, and some people are like telling me these 10 steps to clean your grout, and I'm like, honey, I ain't got time for that. Like. 
<laughs> I like I do not want to spend hours and hours cleaning. Cleaning is the last thing that I want to be doing, so I try to find the most efficient ways to do that. So if that is you as well, then this is the place for you. I mean, yeah, it is coming up here. Look at it. it is coming up. I'm gonna show you a before and then see if I can put an after on here. So, I mean, that is nice, especially for using all natural product. And I didn't have to let it sit, it just came up. Let's look at this piece in here. So there's the before. And if I move it over here, I wonder if the camera picks it up. It is a little bit better. I'm gonna show you something even more amazing than this right here. Let me just take you into my kitchen. And the easiest method on the planet for cleaning your grout, I kid you not. I'm not gonna give it away, but if I would say if you did it every couple of years and then sealed your grout, it's not gonna harm your grout. And yes, you can use it in your shower as well. But see this right here? This is where I missed it. And this is where my floor is dirty. This is where I cleaned, um, I'm gonna call it the magic product. <laughs> see that difference? And again, I did not scrub one iota. I literally laid the product down and wiped it away with a mop for my entire kitchen. And there's my cat. And my kitchen is quite large. I mean, there's a ton of grout. Some other comments, we're gonna go back in the bathroom here, that I got on that video, I was like, how can you let your grout get so disgusting? Well, one, we bought this house two years ago and that's what it looked like. And two, like I wanna spend an entire day cleaning grout. No, thank you. <laughs> I'm like, no, I'm not into that. Um, so here we go. Let me wipe this away. I'm just gonna take a cloth, maybe a little bit of a damp cloth, and then um, we're gonna get a full comparison here and y'all tell me what you think. Okay, it's all dry. I just took this hand towel here and got a little bit damp and wiped it all off. Again, this is just the baking soda. Um, you can use cleaning vinegar or regular vinegar, Dawn dish soap. The ratios, there's no precision to it at all. I had it combined in this jar right here, the Dawn, um, the spray bottle, I mean this Dawn, and the vinegar. But when I dried it up, it does look better. Now the grout color is naturally more of an off-white, I presume. That's the before right there, you see by the toilet. So it did clean it. You can, this is probably the best comparison right here. It did make it look a bunch better. Now, a couple tips that I have here. One, I would not use this, like this is gonna take you forever to clean your grout. If you have all day and you wanna get on your hands and knees and scrub using an all natural product, go ahead and do this. But I, was, I would use a spray bottle and then I would also put the baking soda and water um, in a spray bottle as best as you can. You can see there the baking soda is um, sitting at the bottom. So you definitely could use this method and if you had a brush, you could get that. And there's, I know there's a ton of fancy tools that people can get to clean as well. So if you really wanna get into all that, you can as well. Um, okay, here's my next tip for you. Get the spray bottles if you're gonna do this method, but you are gonna to wanna to seal your grout. Now I have not sealed the grout. I also didn't seal the grout in my kitchen after I cleaned my entire kitchen with my miracle method that we will call it here. But that way you don't have to do this as often. So if you are worried about using more harsh chemicals, this is the way to go, but it is gonna take you more time. So it does smell very lovely in here. <laughs> you know what I realized? I brought the gloves out, but I didn't even use the gloves. So there we have it. But uh, yeah, these are nice too. <laughs> if you are new here, make sure you hit me up on Instagram at Andrea Jean Co. I teach women how to turn their passions into profits. And this cleaning channel is one way that I do that. So if you're interested, it's drying. You can see, yeah, I mean, it definitely looks cleaner. Um, so if you are interested, make sure you come over and say hello. And I have a whole playlist in the description box as well, how to clean and organize pretty much anything because I have tried it. Because as you know, I'm looking for the fastest, easiest, and most efficient ways to clean so we can get on with our lives and do more fun things besides cleaning. But yeah, this is what I used. I appreciate you all for being here. And I will see you, my friend, in the next one.